Now, let's get out to Forsyth Park, or as we locals like to call it, the big park. Zach, joining us live, you're talking to this year's Grand Marshal. It's a big day for him, really, in the entire community as we kick off a week of celebrations. Good morning, Zach. Sorry, and Ken, good morning. That is right. Starting this afternoon, we will officially kick off this year's St. Patrick's Day festivities. I'm actually here with this year's Parade Grand Marshal. Mr. Jerry, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. I hope you got plenty of sleep last night because after today, I mean, it is full steam ahead, right? We, I think I average about three hours sleep an evening, night, perhaps, yeah. I believe it. So tell me a little bit about the history of the greening of the fountain. Well, the Green and the Fountain goes back a number of years and has always been uh, Irish uh, folklore that the leprechauns do that. And when I was a little boy, we lived on, I lived on Price and Hall Street, and my aunts would walk me down here often, particularly during the St. Patrick's Day season. And they told me the story about the leprechaun, leprechauns always putting dye or something in this fountain that would turn it green. That there have been there were two at that time and i think today there's one remaining and uh, usually this time of the year with the green grass and the green leaves coming up for the for the early spring you'll see a little leprechaun dotting around in the bushes and he's just sizing up this fountain to prepare it to be green so if you look carefully you might spot the leprechaun today am i right that is correct uh we we arrived early right right after the sun uh rose and it began to lighten the park up uh, we did see him there's no doubt about it all right so we're seeing leprechaun sightings here in yeah. forsyth park ahead of this greeting of the fountain so it's always a great uh event definitely a family tradition here in savannah for this greening of the fountain it's going to take place at noon here at forsyth park we'll tell you more about the greening of the fountain coming up a little bit later here on daybreak reporting live from the forsyth park zach logan wtoc news Hi, we are just one week away now from St. Patrick's Day Festival, but there's so much more fun that can be had before then. This weekend especially is filled with events starting with today's greeting of the fountain at Forsyth Park, which is where we find our Zach Logan. He is live right now, joined by the St. Patrick's Day Parade Executive Committee with the Grand Marshal. The fountain isn't green quite yet, Zach, but I think everyone is ready to get things started. Good morning. Hey, Sari and Ken, good morning. We are so ready to see this fountain turn green. I'm telling you, growing up in Savannah, this is always something that everyone looks forward to each and every year. And I've been told by Mr. Jerry, who, by the way, is this year's Parade Grand Marshal, that before the uh, greening of the fountain, you can actually spot a leprechaun. I've been asking the guys to keep an eye out for me because I really want to see this leprechaun. That is correct. Uh, when I was a little boy, as I said earlier, my aunts would bring me to the park. Uh, on the weekends and would tell me many stories about two leprechauns originally apparently one was older than the other and may have passed or went to leprechaun heaven I'm not sure but there is a leprechaun that exists in this uh, park and he does come out this time of the year and chooses a day and I think today will be the day that he will turn this fountain green you know, Mr. Jerry, I've been seeing these bushes kind of, they're going a little bit as a cold. Let's see, God, can we get over there? Can we see if we can see them? Look at that. That must be the leprechaun that helps turn our fountain here in Forsyth Park green. That is the leprechaun, so you're able to catch him on camera. It's very seldom that you've seen this clearly. We got him. Breaking news. Leprechauns <laughs> spotted here in Forsyth Park. How great is it to just be out here and kind of take part? in this tradition. It, it is absolutely wonderful. As I said, this is, uh, brings back childhood memories of, of coming to Forsyth Park. And uh, today is going to be an absolutely beautiful day. Uh, fa uh, families should come, bring their children, and enjoy not only the weather, but the occasion of greening the fountain. Most definitely. Mr. Jerry, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Best of luck as you get ready for that big parade next weekend and enjoy today's greening of the fountain. Thank we thank you, you for much. being with Appreciate us this it. morning. Yes. So for more information on everything you need to know about the St. Patrick's Day festivities, of course, you can always head to our website, WTOC.com. Don't forget the greening of the fountain taking place here in Forsyth Park today at noon. Reporting live in Forsyth Park, Zach Logan, WTOC News.